The next thing that we're going to do is the same kind of, it's a pair of little diddle, but it's just different where I'm putting on the drums differently, okay? So if you look at the one, it's uh, the uh, last line, the second line up from the last, it's right. with the groove. paper when you take it home is you can take all them little fills and all them exercises and you can put them together. I wrote it like that. So when you sit down and you look at the four ways that you could do the paradiddles, you can play them all together. So what I would suggest you doing is playing each one like two to four times and instead of stopping and starting, you want to go into the next one. Okay? And you want to do that because what it's going to do is instead of just stopping and then starting another one, it's going to teach you how to displace the rhythm. Okay? Instead of being on a downbeat like this, it's going to teach you to play on the upbeats. Okay? And that's what it's supposed to do. That's why I wrote it like that. I, I was thinking, you know, I want to teach them, you know, how to apply the paradiddles and paradiddle diddles on the drum set, but I also want to teach them how to play on off beats because a lot of times you don't hear that. You know, you hear straight ahead stuff and you can still be musical and you don't have to play on the downbeat all the time. It's totally okay. You know? So it's just a matter of being confident and and playing, you know, a lot and just doing the accents and, and learning how to feel what an E is and it's uh, you know. So if you look at the paradiddle uh, diddle inversions, okay, the Josh, what's the first one? What's that? The first one on the, uh, the paradiddle diddle inversions. What's the sticking for that? Right, right, left, left, right, left. Yes. And it's the same thing except, what's the difference? Can anybody figure it out? <clears throat> it's turned around. It's backwards, right? Look at it. Right, right, left, left, right, left. Instead of being right, left, right, right, left, left, it's just backwards. Okay? But what I've done is the last two beats of each six couplet, I've put it on the toms. So it goes right, right, left, left, right. And then you just do that over and over. Now let's go back to what the pair diddle diddle actually is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bar of just regular pair diddle diddles. And then I'm going to do a bar of the inversion so you can hear how much of a difference it makes. So you can be like, okay, I know what that is, and then I'm going to do the inversion, and then you're going to get lost. Okay? <laughs> Yeah. 
ways that you, there's so many different ways you can do that. You know what I mean? It, there's just it's not just these these different ways. It's just these ways that I've learned how to play them and that I've practiced them. You can figure out there's so many different inversions that you can do. I mean, if you just get online and look up pair to do inversions, you wouldn't believe how many there are. There's just so many. But these are the ones that I've practiced, and these are the ones that I think can definitely help with uh, getting better timing. So let's move on. The third page. <clears throat> Basically, uh, once we do this uh, this last inversion here on pair to little. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to accent the third and fourth beat of the sixth tuplet. Okay. Whereas the last inversion, I was actually accenting the fifth and sixth beat. I'm accenting the third and fourth now. Now let's look at the sticking. Right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay, it's still a six tuplet. It's still a paired little diddle. It's just turned around. Okay, I've just manipulated it. Okay, so basically this thing slow is right, right, high, low, left, left. Got it? Or sticking wise, right. faster. Okay. It almost sounds like the last one, doesn't it? Except for it's not the last one. Here was the last one. You hear the difference? Because the last one was on the which beats? The fifth and sixth beat. And this one is on which ones? The third and fourth. Okay? So. Alright, I'm gonna be calling you out like crazy. Okay, now let's put that in context. both of the inverses together, it has this really cool kind of off-timing thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bar of the first inversion, which was right, 